Hey everyone, my name is Susan Regni, and in this video, we are going to look into a mobile robot that I designed and developed. This is a differential drive robot that has SLAM and navigation capabilities and is built using ROS2 framework. So first let's go over what the robot actually is. This is a mobile robot which can be controlled remotely or it can also move autonomously while it is navigating in an unknown environment. The robot uses a simple system of two wheels in the back and one caster wheel in the front. The wheels are only capable of driving forward and reverse. By varying the speeds of the left and right wheels, the robot can move forward, backward, turn or follow curved paths. The robot has a LiDAR which uses laser to measure distances and generate point cloud data of its surrounding. It is then used by the robot to simultaneously create a map of its surrounding while keeping track of its own position in the environment. This is called SLAM. It then uses the map to autonomously navigate an environment while avoiding obstacles. Now let's go into a bit more detail on how I built this robot. Before making the physical robot, I created and tested my software in a simulated environment. Building this robot using ROS meant that I had access to many great tools that were already developed for a robot such as this. I created a mathematical description of the robot and its links and joints and imported the robot into a physics simulation environment called Gazebo. All the joint states from Gazebo were passed onto the robot state publisher which meant I could use another ROS software called Arvis to visualize the state of the robot. Using these two software, I tested the tele operation, SLAM, and autonomous navigation capabilities of the robot. With this, I moved into developing hardware and other software interfaces for this robot. For this robot, I use a system where ROS is running on the dev machine with its control and GUI nodes. And the dev machine is connected to a Raspberry Pi over Wi-Fi where it is running all the driver nodes. The Raspberry Pi is connected to an Arduino with serial communication over USB. The Arduino is controlled by Pi with ROS using a ROS Arduino Bridge program. The Arduino sends a 5V PWM signal to an l 298 n motor driver that eventually controls the two 6 volts motors. The encoder data is passed onto the Arduino which gets us our odometry data for the robot. The LiDAR is then connected directly to the Raspberry Pi. This is the whole circuit in action. I'm using 7.4 volt lithium polymer battery and powering the L298N motor driver along with the Raspberry Pi passing through a 5 volt regulator. With the circuit ready, I design a CAD model of the robot and have the chassis 3D printed and have everything assembled. With the entire robot assembled, I check the tele operation and check for errors in odometry. This includes checking if our ROS visualization software can accurately depict the robot's physical state, whether it is its position or angular displacement over time. After proper tuning, I test robot's SLAM and autonomous navigation capabilities. Here I use robot's tele operation to drive the robot in an unknown environment to create map of its surrounding all while the robot is estimating its position on the map. Then, the SLAM map was used to generate a cost map. And after a waypoint was defined on the map, the robot was capable to autonomously navigate in that previously unknown environment, all while avoiding obstacles. I would like to thank the entire ROS community and Joss Nuance from Articulator Robotics on his video series on ROS controls for mobile robots. 